What's going on, Assassins? It's Darkstride of the YouTube Assassin, and we're starting to find a pattern with these meteorites. Now, yesterday I showed you that the meteor was in this spot across from where the settlement is. And today, it's a burning Odin statue. And Eivor even says something about, you know, waking dreams. Uh, you know, is this following uh, Eivor in the daytime and the waking hours is this going to be a normal thing now after seeing it i left it i came back to the zone and it's gone so it was there just the one time and right now i can't find it again nor is there a meteor nor is there a rainbow however i do feel that this is going to be where we're going to see a rainbow tomorrow and of course i'm going to be looking into that to see if that's what goes down now where was the meteor check this out as i was on my way to go and do the thieves couple which retta gives us like every single day there's the meteor it just fell out of the sky and here we go we have iron ore and carbon ingots just like we had for the other meteor that we got across from Ravensthorpe, across from the settlement. So, again, really wild, we have this one more time. So now, there are several areas that I know of that a bunch of you have been sending me, and I'm going to be exploring all those areas just to see what the pattern is. When does this go down? Now, it may not be the same for all of us. It may be a situation where some of us see this and others do not. Maybe you have it out of sequence. Maybe tomorrow's meteor, wherever it lands tomorrow, is going to be your number one meteor. And then you go from there. Or maybe it even goes in the reverse order. We're going to try it, though. We're going to try to figure this out. So what I tried to do, though, was go towards... Uh, where the thieves couple was and see if I could return and that that would cause the meteor to fall again no it didn't it wasn't far enough again you've got to be at least 200 meters away in order for the meteor to drop again which is pretty wild so anyway what I ended up doing was just coming and defeating the thieves couple I uh, took them out and then after taking them out went back to where the meteor was and of course the meteor dropped again which was pretty wild and uh you could just see it in the distance here uh, all these failed to save game things those are really annoying but uh you'll see it you'll see it like fall out of nowhere there it is right there that guy on the horse didn't even freaking flinch man that is a badass right there he didn't even look at it anyway we return to it and again collect a different amount of uh, iron ore, but still the one carbon ingot. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of interesting uh, that this is going to continue like this. Y you could just continuously do it. Again, I tried the Raven method because a bunch of you said that you could just launch the Raven and after launching the Raven, the meteor will fall again. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm too close to the meteor or I don't know if like I'm just not doing it right with the raven whatever you guys know about this raven technique by all means keep keep me informed like let me know exactly what I'm doing wrong so that way you know like I could present it and of course uh, you know in presenting it you guys your names will be shouted out for uh you know like what you got going on uh speaking of which ezekiel and ak savage shout out to them because the two of them have been sending me tons and tons of images as to where to look for uh you know these meteors and some of them are actually on point they're kind of like overlapping they're in similar areas but for some of them it's you know like different so you know i really do appreciate you guys sending me that information and of course this is again probably one of the best farming techniques for iron ore and for like these materials uh you know there should be tungsten there should be nickel there should be a bunch of other things that we'll find as we uh, find all these meteors besides iron ore 
And uh, I just think that that's absolutely amazing. It's very quick. It only takes like a couple of seconds. You don't have to like continuously, uh, you know, like leave the area and come back. Like, you know, kind of like the other farms where you kind of rotate from spot to spot or from fast travel point to point. Uh, basically, you just go back and forth and the thing keeps dropping and the thing drops a ton of iron ore, which is quicker again than most of these farms anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps this channel out an awful lot as always i want to thank each and every one of you for watching and until next time take care be good stay safe take care of each other i'll see you guys soon